before we take a break, if, we don't, if you don't mind, let's go to item number two. Discussion regarding site plan for your certified towing. Hard to do because we might get one into our office. I certainly think Congress will know where it goes. So it's working on that. And it works well with Congress. Good evening, how are y'all? Good evening. Commissioners are back up here before they start. You look familiar. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, I wrote coming off. Sitting in that meeting reminded me of one of my favorite quotes. Here's the last couple of hours. I can't understand what you're saying. Go ahead. The roadway uh, coming off that they proposed to put on the interior of the property. <laughs> Build asphalt, and um, we don't have any restrictions. Uh, it not being that, but you know, the commissioners gave the property. So before we got to development review, I'd like to get that out of the way, and that's why we're here tonight. I think the staff feels like um, we probably should be paid, you know, on the interior down to that parking lot. But here again, this is a commission decision, not a decision by staff, because we do not have restrictions on that. And in fairness to them. I want to go ahead and get this done, and get it out of the way, then we can move forward with development review and get them started on the, on the project. Okay, is that a fair statement, Greg? Yes, Steve? that's fair. Okay, right. I'll turn it over to you. Okay, um, so as a preliminary <coughs> plan to put recycled asphalt pavement, and it's a foundation that would be affordable to our project in the beginning stage, which is phase one, to have a recycled asphalt pavement driveway and in lieu of come back and paving it, you know, before phase two even starts, it's just a foundation to get us going. It's a dustless material that would get us to the stage of getting the doors open where we can start bringing in revenue. So we're requesting uh, a recycled asphalt pavement consideration um, as opposed to the asphalt pavement. Excuse me, are you talking about, and I'm referring to this, this look here, the gray, the light gray area coming off the highway, or are you referring to the dark gray material area here? That's the light gray. The light, yeah, the light gray coming off the Dale Leslie. So basically the main ingress and egress in there <coughs> that is going to be, you requested to put in wrap, recycled wrap. asphalt? Initially. Initially. And then in, in front of the building, out front, is an asphalt pavement parking lot. <coughs> Mr. Chair, it was my understanding when y'all first bought the proposal, it was going to be all asphalt. Is that not correct? It is going to be all asphalt. And that is Initially. A, that's a big old bite to chew on. <laughs> I can't sit at that table right now. Um, but we will, um, you know, it's whatever's approved, but we, we would request that we are able to get into this thing with recycled asphalt pavement on the driveway and the rest of the project. I think there was a presentation before y'all on board, a preliminary conceptual site. That's what it is, I believe. That's right. And it was showing pavement coming from Dale Leslie coming southward towards the, I guess, front of the building, south side of the building, near the interstate. And I wasn't here to hear the conversation or the decisions from it, but what I was looking to do initially is, A, trying to find a way to get the building facility constructed operation. What I also was looking at doing was in lieu of doing you know, hot mixed asphalt initially, come in with a, a wrap, reclaim asphalt paving, and come in from the LSD, hit southward to a point that we transition to a, a hot mix asphalt, which would be a more finished appearance from the interstate side. Again, that's that's what we were looking at trying to do to get them out there in operation. And 
during our meeting, that's when it was stated that we thought it was going to be asphalt. So it may have been. I didn't hear that conversation. Um, but I, I do know that from the owner's standpoint, ultimately they want to see a, a nice asphalt cave. Right. Fire. As we like. But what we're looking to do initially is to get them out there in operation. And that's that was the conversation we had last week. And I, and I wish you kind of have it being at the beginning, you know. And, and this is the one that we voted on. And, and I don't know whether you took it under consideration, but I'm sure the owner should have took it under consideration that we pretty much gave you all this land. That land is bad and a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So we wanted a finished product. So if anybody else moved out there, anybody else built out there, we can kind of keep it looking at it. What's, what's that land value there, roughly? I think that the property appraiser has it at uh, maybe $20,000 an acre. I think. I believe yeah. that's correct. Yeah. So right at 200000 Right at 200000 well, One thing, if I could, I, you know, when we reached the contract, it was as a result of the negotiation and all that. The, the issue and the danger in, from, from the board's standpoint is this, is that for y'all to start the project, you're going to have to pledge the property as a collateral to the bank. And so the, the kind of the thought was, the, and, and of course, if the bank's not going to give you a, um, it's not going to take a mortgage that we have the right to, we, to take the property back. So we're going to have to subordinate the county's interest to the bank's mortgage. So that initial amount of money that comes out of the bank that we're subordinating to, the thought was it needs to be a reasonably finished product. If you if you want to do it in phases, that there's nothing wrong with that. But that phase one needs to be a finished product because otherwise, if something bad happened and the bank took it back, there's not a finished product out there. It's a you know it's, it's kind of a halfway built thing. And, and that was the concept that I think we right. everybody negotiated back and forth on it. And, and that's the concern. It's not it, it, it it's not that anybody you know doesn't want to help you move on. I mean, I think the board show they want to help you move by giving you a bunch of land. I mean, I, I think they're showing that. But that's the danger, I think, that they got to worry about is if, if the, if, I think if you said, well, I want to put it, put gravel out there, and then, but I'll have it paid before a bank wants a mortgage, you know, I think, yeah, I think we probably, we could work with that, because then the danger is not that the bank's going to take it. But, I'm not hearing that. I think y'all are saying you want to borrow the money from the bank, get your buildings up, get everything running, all that. Well, the bank's not going to lend you the money until you get the mortgage. And if it doesn't work out, there's going to be gravel roads there. I mean, is that, am, am I understanding that correctly? Or? It's our foundation to, to pay you all. And their costs are a big difference. Oh, I'm, trust me, I, I get that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to say it's not that way. Um, well, you know, if I can interject something, my, my concern too is, you know, we have a business next door that 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 I don't want to I don't want to see I'm trying to say think this out what I want to say is if they've done if you've seen it you've seen everything they've done out there and then yeah. you know as part of our involvement with the county help you know it's certainly involved and want to be involved in economic development but and I don't even want to use the word substandard but at a, at a level of quality less than what what's already next door. Well the word I heard was chill was showcase and we it's showcasing the property right here in the interstate and we just wanted to look good like like the bus line. And we have other items on the agenda tonight that have to do with adjacent property to this one uh, yeah. that, that we want to, you know, improve economic development in the county. You know, and, and what we want to see out there is we want to have a thriving businesses out there, but we want them to be, you know, something to model after. Right. And, and with the big trucks, you know, how is that gravel going to hold up? I'll build asphalt. Now, is this the same as milling? I use the term milling. Yeah. It bonds together. It's, it's an oil residual to it, so it will bond together as it gets wet, it's packed. Because yeah, I've seen us put milling down that, that, that I ended up having to go by or recommend or convince the commission to allow me to pay <laughs> because we put milling down and it didn't work. 
because there was just regular vehicle traffic on it. And then within two weeks, it was just pushed out and a mess. But imagine having a great foundation to build on rather than throwing something out there that gets cracks and holes in it and you gotta come back and patch it. And it, there's a lot of soft dirt out there. So rather than putting the four inch or it would be six inch of lime rock, you know, we could, we could get a foundation from the uh, recycled asphalt pavement. So that's what we would want to consider. Oh, I have a question for Bill. Bill, yes. How much different is what they're talking about in mill asphalt? Is there any difference between rapid build asphalt? Yeah. No difference. No difference. Okay. That's fine. <coughs> Anything else? All right. I mean, if it's asphalt, if that's what it needs to be, that's what we'll go with. I just, I need a direction from the offer. I just, we we were looking at ways to try to get them out there. And, I, and that's, I'm where sure the, right, that's where right, the right, right, right. staff needs direction from the board. Right. Yeah. This, this is the only hurdle I see to move it from there. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, my motion would be that we go with the original set of plans. Uh, <coughs> can you can we, for discussion, just um, understand that the plans have changed on this conceptual drawing? There was an entrance and a separate <coughs> exit with paving all the way around. And this one basically has one entry and one exit. Um, they're, they're requesting on this one that there to be milled asphalt in the light gray area. And this would be your plan you're basically working That's off the of phase now. Phase one, phase one. Oh, phase one. No, I'm right. sorry. Right. It would eventually, it would be. Right. Okay. Right. I, I'm sorry. Right. Remember, that this is the one that, that they would get approved, get the loan from the bank, the mortgage would be foreclosed. This is the one that we built. I'm not foreclosed mortgage. <laughs> But I think, Mr. Chairman, I think you're right. I think if y'all are, if the issue is the paving, then what you do is you say, well, you know, we, we're fine with this plan, but we want it to be paved. I know that's no doubt. Okay. I think that was a motion. My second deal. Okay. And another point of discussion, my mind goes back to uh, back when the developers were coming in doing roads or not doing roads and that burden fell on the county. I know the burden would fall, fall on the county in this case, but sometimes things just don't get done. And, and another thing I've thought about with through this whole process, you know, our added subdivision requirements now requires paid roads right. for all of our future planted land developments. And and I think that if we do if we deviate from that, like in this situation, then we're going backwards. You know, that's just my comment on that. Because, you know, right now, if the land developer comes in and flats out land, they've got to pay it. That's right. Yeah. So, and it's not me or this. Any other discussion? Call for the vote, Mr. Chair. All right. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Thank right. you. If, if I have y'all's permission, <laughs> I know Mr. Sarkis has been back there for, for hours, so can we, can we address that and take a short break?